wrestling fans, welcome into this week's Championship Wrestling. I'm Michael St. John, and on this program we have a very unique feature. You're going to see all the action of a one-night Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament recently held at the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. Some great tag teams in action, Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba, Jerry the King Lawler, Superstar Bill Dundee, Austin Idol and Wildfire Tommy Rich, a new team of Mr. Uh, Shima and Big Phil Hickerson, and they are a tough bunch. We'll also see in action many more teams. Keep it right here. We've got all the action coming up right after this, today on Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Let's go to the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee, as Billy Travis and Mark Starr go up against the Moondog Spot and Stretcher Jack Hart. Jack Hart, Mark Starr. And this is interesting because Jack Hart, his opponent right at the moment, dead in the middle of the ring, both of them with black tights on and black knee bands. Both have extensive amateur backgrounds. This time, the big shoulder from Mark Starr puts Jack Hart down. Wasn't successful with the Moon Dog, but it was with Jack Hart. Tag Billy Travis. Look at Travis in the air, and Hart was down again. Once again, Jack thrown down, and Travis just staying right after him. He really is working hard for a pin. Billy Travis now faces a different kind of an opponent. The Moondog Spot. He went from a slick wrestler with a background of amateur wrestling to a rough and tumble moondog spot and now star takes over with that superior height he slips into an arm bar very quick tag on jack star rather uh, hard Mark Starr, Jack Hart. Oh, right down the ropes. A little sidekick coming from Jack Hart, and he caught Starr pretty good with it. Bang! Had him biting the canvas there as he put him down, and Spot takes over. The move it's cover. Uh. We passed the four minute mark. In a one fall, ten minute time limit match. Here comes Travis. He's going after him. And while the referee runs him out. Jack Hart comes in, wails away with that right fist to the midsection, knee lift, and Star is down. Jack Hart gets a one-two, and that's all. Five minutes fast, five minutes to wrestle. Five pass, five to go. Couldn't tell whether Hart came in with a fist or a forearm at that point. And Mark Starr coming off the ropes, trading some licks with Jack Hart. And as Starr moved in to try to take advantage of what his right hand had gained him, shoulder to the midsection. Hart puts him down after the tag on the moon dog and the big moon dog one two and mark just barely slipped out bruno thought he had him too got a two count suplex and over goes mark star Mark 
Starr caught in the corner between Hart and Moondog. Starr again from the outside is caught by Moondog Spot. Headbutt and down he goes. Hart moving right in, takes a right, goes for the eyes. And it's getting rougher. Star swinging back, puts Hart down, tags Billy Travis. Travis comes after them both. to the trunks loading that glove up I'm sure whips Billy in sunset flip clothesline from star one two three well, let's go to the next round of action as Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba do battle with Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka Jarrett sidestepped and shoved him right into Jack Hart. Two and a half minutes in. Big Bubba. And I think most of the wrestling fans know the bizarre story that happened to Bubba. When he went out to jump in his car to come to the matches and the next thing he knew, he woke up with his hands tied, gagged in a dirty old shack which ultimately turned out to be uh, south of Hazard, Kentucky Jeff Jarrett whipped in reversed nice hip toss hooks the arm drags hard over and goes into a bar Jarrett takes him into a side headlock Jeff almost where he could have made a tag on Bubba that slowed Diamond down and look at Bubba wow Paul Diamond caught between a rock and a hard place scampers out of the ring to safety slides back under that bottom rope Jeff Jarrett waiting on him four minutes in into that turnbuckle back over to the other one and Jarrett tees off with a right hand and out of the way goes Diamond and Jeff slams into the turnbuckle tag on Jack Hart Diamond secures Jarrett as Hart comes in to take over Jeff down on the deck.
just came out. He's been absent, and now we know why. Big Bubba chasing him around the ring, and look at the big guy go. And there he goes. He is headed out, and Bubba goes after him. Big Bubba, who puts Bruno behind the kidnap. The referee went after him. Jeff Jarrett left in the ring. Diamond and Hart double-teaming him with no referee, and they whip him in again. Double clothesline, Jared down. Big leg drop from Hart. Hart holds him. Here comes Bubba back. And the referee, Frank Morrell. What's happening? Oh boy, look at Bubba going after Paul Diamond. And then comes to the rescue of Jeff. So there's still two of them in there, but Diamond nails hard. One, two, three. The winners, Big Bubba, Jeff Jarrett. Okay, my golly, I'll tell you what, Wednesday night is going to be something else in the Evansville Coliseum. When I tell you that this Las Vegas roulette match that's going to be taking place with Idle and Rich and Lawler and Dundee is spectacular, can you imagine? Big 10-foot poles tied around all ring posts on top is a box of each and every one of the poles in only one of the boxes will there be a coal miner's glove if you can get up there guess the right box bring it down look out idlin rich had these comments <laughs> they wanted to be kept real simple it's just this simple evansville indiana the end of the war this wednesday night the end of the war of the century we're wrestling two simpletons you said the word right brother right. simple because we're wrestling two simpletons and i couldn't believe it when i got the phone call and the promoter said i just told tommy rich and he didn't believe it either that's right and i said tell me again did Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee really sign the contract? And he said, yes, it's signed, it's sealed, and all you got to do, deliver, brother. And we're just like the man, brother. We deliver. Ice, rain, sleep, snow, don't make no difference. So let's make sure we got the thing right. Let's make sure everybody understands the rules. Let's make sure they know what they're getting into. You take four ring posts, you put them up in the air about 20 feet high, and on the top of each post, you put a box. And in one of those boxes, there's going to be a coal miner's glove. And across the knuckles, there's going to be nothing but solid lead, Jack. And whoever's the one who gets the box, Jack, gets the glove. And whoever gets the glove gets to beat those two buffoons, those two simpering twits in the submission. And I can promise you one thing. Me and my man, we spend all our lives in Las Vegas, brother. Ain't nothing we like better, right? I want all, all the bad food, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I want all the bad food in the I come down, baby. I go out. Lee really Travis and Mark Starr, Austin Idol and Tommy Rich, and Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba. This is the final match of the first round. I want you to pay close attention to the actions of Brickhouse Brown, the referee, as we go to the match. Jerry the King Lawler and the superstar Bill Dundee battling Big Phil Hickerson and Mr. Shima. Let's go to action now. And Lawler, Shima tie it back up. Hickerson being run back down to his corner. While Shima is slugging away on Lawler, using that fist that he'd been jumping on Lawler about. Lawler going to retaliate in there, and the referee, who was being distracted by Hickerson, didn't see any of what Shima was doing. As if they weren't volatile enough, Lawler and Dundee stirred up. in the face of the referee about to bust him 
to get into it as the time marches on we're five and a half minutes into the match and Lawler is furious that Shima has gotten away hey come on Kojo you back away from it let's get it Brickhouse in the middle of Dundee and Lawler six minutes back Four minutes to wrestle. Six pass, four to wrestle. Referee threatening to disqualify Lawler and Dundee. Hey, come on, come on, come on, Tojo. Just leave us out of here. Will you please get out of here? Wait till the intermission, please. Lawler still arguing with the referee. Maybe we'll get it back into action. It's been between Lawler and Dundee and referee Brickhouse Brown. He threatened with a disqualification. Now Lawler and Shima tie it back up. And the referee now. Well, I can't go along with that. But then they didn't ask me. He broke the hole because Hickerson was yelling. He pulled his hair. Brickhouse, former wrestler, relatively new in the refereeing world, is finding out that this life is not all roses by any means. And the crowd saying, no, no, no. He didn't pull the hair. right in there slamming Lawler eight minutes past two minutes to wrestle eight minutes past two minutes to wrestle some strong suspicions among the crowd out here that Tojo not only got to Phil Hickerson, he may have gotten to the referee. That's a harsh thing to say, but he avoided seeing Hickerson grab Lawler by the hair, we thought. Oh, look at Hickerson go. He's swinging a right hand. Turned around does nothing about it in the corner. Hey, 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 hey. And Hickerson slam and wall her away and Jerry retaliates. He nails not only Hickerson but Shima tags Bill Dundee. Dundee after Hickerson. Lawler pounding on Shima. We've got all four and the match is totally out of hand right now. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Waller short stops the kendo stick. Nails Shima. The referee sees him and he's going to call a disqualification on that. Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament from the Mid-South Coliseum sees Tommy Rich and Austin Idol battling Billy Travis and Mark Starr. Rich is in a little hair to pull 
Field, Billy Travis off the uh, feet, dumps him down on the mat. Austin Idol. Billy Travis starting out this one fall 10 minute time limit tag match. And Idol again and Travis right back up. Telling the referee that is the second time that he has pulled my hair. The referee Jerry Calhoun saying Idol. Man says you're getting his hair. Stay out of it. The heartthrob and wildfire going against Travis and Starr. Travis and Starr have looked so very good since they've been together. Idol beals him right out of the corner in the hard way and hollering about using the hair. Well, he, he must have used the hair then, the referee right on top. I did not see him grab the hair. But in any event, he sure fired Travis out of there hard. saying this is a piece of cake match is not over with pay attention Austin going on the action has come to a standstill as danger lee was trying to say we'll give you a chance to forfeit save your hide you won't get hurt austin idol slips right in behind travis reversal by billy look at this nice backdrop whoa he tapped him and idol heads to the corner after being nailed solidly by that right hand of Billy Travis. Tommy Rich drew the ropes. Travis staying in there. He might do well to move out and let Mark Starr, who is fresh, take over. with six minutes to go in this one fall 10 minute time limit match Tommy Rich with a body slam dumps Billy down hard big hip toss Rich likes that on Austin Idol. Billy staying in there. And I'm not certain that's a good move. There's the tag on Mark Starr. He needed that. Let the fresh man go to work. Idol steps over the rope and he's pulled right back in by Starr. He's jerked from the floor right back in the ring. Mark Starr. Ooh. Referee threatening Tommy Rich while Austin Idol banging away on Star. He tags Rich and Rich is in illegally now. Ooh. Mark Star takes a jab right at the throat from Rich. Rich 
Rich suplex him over hard, and he bangs that canvas. And now Rich That's what he did in off. front of him dangerously. Uh-huh. That was Paul Dangerly, as you gather. Two very experienced professional roughnecks and rich and idle against two very good young wrestlers, Mark Starr and Billy Travis. Rich throws Starr into the ropes while he's down on the floor. Idol picks him up and drops him on that metal fence. Now Travis comes around to help his partner out. Billy's trying to tell him what Idol did to him down on the floor. Live dangerously and you pay the price, Lance Yeah, particularly when there's two of you doing it. Nails Tommy Rich. Star roll back into the ring, and Rich goes after him with a headbutt. Seven minutes past three minutes to wrestle. Seven past three minutes to wrestle. Mark Star blocks the right hand of Idol and scores with one of his own again. Tag on Travis. Going after Rich, Star after Idol. Two and a half minutes to go. Uh oh, Travis dumped over the top rope, and that's going to be a disqualification. Seven minutes, 44 seconds. Idol and Rich are disqualified for putting. Travis over the top row. The winners will be Star and Travis. Mark Star being threatened with being posted by Idol and Rich. Waller and Dundee come out. dumped hard onto that metal rail over the top rope. But the winners, Star and Travis, by disqualification. Brick House Brown and the controversy surrounding that action in the first round of the championship tournament. Semi-final action now as Big Phil Hickerson and Mr. Shima do battle with Jeff Jarrett and Big Bubba. Pay close attention to referee Brick House Brown. Neither one of these big guys ready to go at it. Phil goes after a top wrist lock and Big Bubba just dumped him down. What is the referee complaining about? Phil Higgerson says he pulled my hair and immediately the referee believes him. Bubba said I didn't pull no hair, I didn't even touch his hair. and facing each other. And there's about as much controversy about the referee as there is about the opposition of Higgerson and Bubba. Oh, they slammed in. Look at Higgerson. <laughs> he ran into the brick wall. A little delayed reaction, but Higgerson goes right on his face. Shima over. Just stood there in 
and Higgerson slammed into him with a slingshot effect off the ropes. He hadn't moved Bubba till yet. Higgerson said, see, I did it. Bam, fell out. Now he's telling Bubba, tag out. Let me have the other guy. And Jeff says, that's fine. Tag me. Jeff doesn't want anybody running interference for him. He'll fight his own battles. And I can understand he feels like he's got a lot to prove because he's taken some very, very unwarranted abuse over the fact that Eddie Marlin is his grandfather. Higgerson busts Jeff down to the mat. Jarrett thrown down again by Phil Higgerson. And Jeff, I think, has quickly recognized that he can't go straight in to prove a point. He tags up with him again, but he steps back and lets Higgerson bounce off the map. I wondered, Jeff is a quick learner. And when he went in the third time straight ahead, I should have known he had something in mind. He needs to wheel around this guy and use his speed. Jeff on a leapfrog. Hooks the arm into a ball. Jeff kicks out of it. Seemed like a very 
quick count, but we could be just suspicious and prejudice ourselves. 45 seconds to wrestle. Shima caught with a drop kick from Jared. A beauty. 30 seconds. Jared on a slide hooks him. Higgerson breaks it up. 
by Phil Hagerson. Hagerson straight up makes suplex. Drops him down hard. Yamamoto saying, get him, get him, get him. Phil. With those rough and tumble tactics of his. Takes a couple of shots from Travis. And right back to the eyes to stop Billy in his tracks. comes off the second rope. Higgerson out of the way. Drops down on him with the leg. One, two, but the foot on the rope. Yamamoto trying to push it off. The referee sees it and breaks the count. Save Billy. Travis being held by Higgerson while Shima takes the tag and comes in. Shima, but Hickerson breaks that one up in a hurry. Hickerson has been very alert about that. Protecting his partner out of the ring, he goes. Billy Travis on the concrete. Tojo and Hickerson come over. Mark Starr comes around to help his partner, and Billy slammed down on the concrete. Slammed with a right hand, that is. still down on the floor as Hickerson with a referee's back turn picks him up and again dumps him on the concrete. Travis left to the mercy of Yamamoto and Hickerson. Yamamoto and Phil double team on Travis. Mr. Shima whips him across. Ow! Nails him with a hard chop. Cover. But Billy gets the count out as the referee was down one and starting again. Tag on Higgerson. He's hollering something to Shima. Big right hand from Higgerson. We've talked about it before. Just amazed at how fast Higgerson is for a man of his size. Billy dumped over the top rope. If the referee had have seen it, it would have been a disqualification. But Travis on the concrete again. And Mark Starr, whose knee is definitely hurt. Billy staying in there because of his partner's bad knee, I am almost sure. Hadn't even made an effort to make the tag. Oh boy, big knee from Hickerson. Another whip. This time he greets him with that right hand. Bill doubled over on the mat. Hickerson picks him up with a clothesline that turns up turns him a flip. Kind of one, kind of two, and Travis kicks his way out. Hickerson immediately gets on the referee about the slow count. Shima. I guess they tagged. Oh, well, it doesn't make any difference now. Shima. Picks him up, dumps him down hard on the canvas. Count of one. 
when Travis caught him with a knee lift. Billy went down also. There's a tag on Phil Higgerson. Billy was heading to the corner, and Mark Starr is certainly ready and willing. Whether he is that able or not, I don't know. Billy gets around, makes a tag. We'll find out right now. Higgerson, Travis after Shima. Here comes Yamamoto. He's got powder in his hand while the referee, oh, he nails Higgerson in the eye. One, two, three, that's going to be it. The winners, Billy Travis, Mark Starr. Southern Tag Team Championship Tournament. We have new champions, Billy Travis and Mark Starr, battling their way to the top with a big victory in that big final match. We hope you'll join us next week for all the action here on Championship Wrestling. Until then, I'm Michael St. John saying, we'll see you at ringside.